Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Magic Kingdom. They just released a whole bunch of new treats for the month of April and I wanted to come out and try some of them. I know they have a street corn flatbread and then also a root beer soft serve, so root beer flavored ice cream and I think that sounds really fancy. And then we're gonna ride some rides and maybe meet up with some friends. Anywho's, let's go do this. The new treats that I'm talking about are a part of the 50th anniversary treat line and they started changing them out every single month. So it being a new month, April, they have a whole bunch of new ones, including the Seven Dwarves ice cream cones. That's the root beer flavored ice cream because last time it was coffee and vanilla ice cream and I loved it. My legs are still feeling the effects of the 10 mile run I did yesterday for the Tower of Terror 10 miler. And uh, I'm probably gonna be a little bit slow getting around the parks, but it was totally worth it. The pain today was definitely worth the, the, the feeling I got yesterday. <laughs> I'm also curious to see what the crowds and the wait times are going to be like today. It's a new month, like I said, April, and the only thing we have to look forward to this month, I think, is Easter. Everything else kind of should be just normal, like a normal April it would be like. Looks like as we're walking in, the stage show is happening, and it's kind of funny because the last time I was here, well, maybe not the last time, but the last couple times I was here, I tried to watch the stage show, and there was just constant rain delays, so we might be able to catch the tail end of it finally. I finally got to watch a little bit of that show and I like it. I like seeing the shows and the parades and everything come back and probably most important, the character meet and greets are coming back actually this month. So we're gonna be able to actually have photos with characters hugging them or putting our arms around them without having like a barrier like in between us. That's something I'm looking forward to a lot. And also I wanna point out my awesome shirt because this is my new favorite Roosevelt shirt. It's the Infinity Stones and the Infinity Gauntlet and it's a part of the Marvel series so I love it. I actually wore a purple undershirt because of Thanos and if you guys want to shop the shirts there's a link in the description with a promo code. I know I keep on saying it but I really do love the shirt and this is probably my all-time favorite one now. I think we're gonna make our way up to Pinocchio's because that's where two of the new treats are at. One of them I'm so excited to try. The other one, uh, not so much. I mean, uh, there's an ingredient that I don't like as much, so I'm still gonna try it though because I gotta know what it tastes like and also to show you guys, but that's where we're gonna head to now. It is so funny though because anytime I do come to the parks and I'm going to Fantasyland, I always think how I'm gonna get there, you know what I mean? Obviously my favorite is cutting straight through the castle but that's blocked off because of the stage show. Other than that, I like to come up the side here sometimes or I like to go through Tomorrowland or through Liberty Square. But let me know, what's your favorite way? <laughs> you know what I mean? I think it's kind of fun. And here we are and it looks like there's nobody sitting up on the balcony there. So I think we'll actually go up there and enjoy our pizza and our cake. But I love it over here. Isn't it so beautiful? It's well, it's well themed. I'm thinking about asking if I can have the mayonnaise on half of the pizza so that way I can try it with and without. You know what I mean? I think that might be a good idea and I think they can do that. All right, we got the goods. Now let's take the stairway up to the second floor. Honestly, I'm a little shocked that there's nobody up here because I know that it's been getting a lot of exposure recently. Like people have been posting about it on Instagram and TikTok. Uh, I even made a video about it. And uh, yeah, there's nobody up here. So we're gonna go outside. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. And this is it. Look at this. So cozy, right? All right, here are the two new items up here at Pinocchio's and we have the Tres Leches cake. This is featuring flavors of Mexico with toasted at coconut and a coconut cake. And then they have the roasted street corn flatbread. And I was able to get half of it with uh, the uh, citrus mayonnaise on it and then half without because I'm not too sure about that, but other than that, it's corn and peppers and your regular flatbread, and I'm excited. I think I'm gonna try this first because I don't know if I'm gonna like that, and I don't want that to ruin the taste of this because that I am going to love. Adios. 
Like I said, I'm gonna try this one first. We're just gonna cut to the side here because I also don't want it getting too soggy. But look at that, oh boy. We gotta make sure we get a little of this icing on top there. Okay, here we go. That's amazing. That is truly amazing. I love coconut though. Wow, this is good. This is also not the first version of this cake either. It's a part of that collection that I was telling you that just keeps on changing. And it's all about It's a Small World because that's what the Adios and the Mexico flavoring is. Uh, I'm not too sure what the other ones are. I, I don't remember. I don't think I got them. And uh, this one though, I love it. I mean, it is so good. A nice, light, refreshing dessert if you plan on coming to Magic Kingdom. Because you know you don't want anything too heavy. Now it's time for the pizza business. And they really didn't cut it too much. Just one little cut in the center there. So like the whole flatbread on the backside, the undercarriage here isn't really cut. But this is going to be the piece that has the blue cheese and the mayonnaise on it. And the corn and the peppers and the mozzarella. So we're going to try this one first. The other side is going to be pretty plain. Just corn, peppers, and cheese. But uh, I still might like it. Who knows? But this is where we're going to try this one first. Here we go. I think I'm going to fold it. Mm -mm. To be honest, the mayonnaise and the blue cheese really isn't that overpowering, but you do taste it a little bit. So if you're not a big fan of either of those items, you're probably not going to like it. And it's kind of weird just to have mayonnaise on pizza anyway, but I guess it's kind of weird to have corn on pizza as well. So I don't know. It's all, it all depends on your preference. But I am going to try it this way because I do love the corn. I do love the flavor of the corn. This side of the pizza looks like they have a little bit of a cut in the center. Bada bing! Look at that! <laughs> Alright, so this is just corn, peppers, mozzarella, and a flatbread. See, I like that. The corn itself has a nice fire roasted taste to it, and that's kind of why I like it. Oh, must be uh, 5 30. I can hear the uh, Pinocchio uh, clock actually taking. That's really nifty. Oh, and I see a camera. One of those sneaky little Disney cameras. I'm going to show you it real quick. Don't be suspicious. 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 I think it just turned and looked at me. Out of both of those snacks right there, the Tres Leches cake definitely is the show stealer. That was phenomenal. I would love to get that. I wish they would put it on the menu permanently because that would be a nice little addition. Now I think we'll make our way over to get some ice cream. A little uh, root beer flavored ice cream. Which I told you that sounds so cool because it's kind of like a root beer float but without the soda. I'm also just realizing now they might have a new Haunted Mansion push pop over at Sleepy Hollow because I feel like that was a seasonal change and uh, we'll have to make our way over to check that out because the last one was so good. But first we're going to have to hop in line for some of the ice cream or the Seven Dwarves Cone here at Storybook Treats and you can probably see it right here. Oop. They have a whole bunch of different offerings that they're going to be kind of putting out and we've already talked and we already had one of them and now the newest cone I think is the uh, root beer ice cream. So there's a lot more to come. As I'm standing in line here, I'm looking at the wait time for Seven Doors Mine Train and it's only a 95 minute wait and believe me, that is pretty amazing. Like. Honestly, I went to Hollywood Studios the other day and there were four attractions with a hundred plus minute wait. So to have Magic Kingdom's most popular attraction only be 95 minutes, that is, that's, that's, that's a good sign that the wait times are a little low today. Here it is, the Seven Dwarves Cone. This is chocolate and root beer float flavored ice cream and it's sneezy. That's really cool. I'm holding it like this because it's kind of floating to the other side. These melt so fast, so we don't have much time. We got to get right to it. I know how quickly this melts from the last time I got it, and it's already starting to melt. Look, my hands are already getting covered, but we're going to take this off and we're going to try it. Oh, that's good. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> that is so good. I need to eat the coin, though. 
make sure you get a lot of napkins with this bad boy. Like this isn't me joking around and like taking lots of photos and having fun and getting the Instagram pic. This is like a minute afterwards. Look at this. I'm getting ice cream all over myself and in my beard. It definitely tastes like a root beer float if you use chocolate ice cream. Like identical actually. Now that the ice cream business is taken care of, we need to find a bathroom so we don't end up having sticky finger business because all that ice cream was just rolling down my arm. Look at this. Ah, I gotta find a bathroom. Gotta get there now. Everybody's always about the Tangled bathrooms. Whenever I hear the best bathrooms in Disney, I hear Tangled this, Tangled that. Now, they are nice bathrooms on the inside, and it has a really nice themed area, but, you know, I always have to point out that when I used to come to the park, before the Tangled bathrooms were a thing, I loved the ones that were back in Fantasyland. We got some royal bathrooms in Fantasyland for prince and princesses, and I just like it back here. It's very, very nice. It's right on the other side of Pinocchio's village. Look at this water pressure. Look at that. Holy moly. Now that we're all cleaned up, let's make our way down to Sleepy Hollow to see if they got any of the new Haunted Mansion push pops. We walked up one side of the castle, now we're walking down the other. And this was recently kind of renovated and they widened the pathway because it was very, very like narrow, narrow corridors here. But now it's like very breezy, lots of room. It does not look like there is a new push pop on the menu yet. Uh, they still have the same one that they had before and I already came out and tried it. And it's something you actually have to come and physically order. It's not online or it's not for mobile order or on the menu. They just have a little stanchion sign here and it was really good. It's definitely something I would suggest. It also looks like here comes a marching band. Ooh, we'll have to take a look-see. Thank you! <laughs> that was really cool. I'm so happy that I caught that marching band. And thank you to whoever said that they loved my content. That was really, really cool. And it was really awesome that you guys we're marching through Disney, and I liked how everyone had Mickey years on, so that's kind of fancy. Now I think we'll make our way over to Frontierland and check on the wait times for Big Thunder Mountain and Splash Mountain. I would love to ride Big Thunder Mountain. It's been probably a long time since I got on there. Like, I would say at least a couple months. As I'm walking by the water here, I'm kind of reminded that I've said in the past that I want to come out and do a video where I explore around uh, Tom Sawyer's Island, but it closes at dusk, so it's not going to be today, but I'm going to definitely come out and we're going to do a video exploring there because I love it. And it's really, really cool. It's like a whole nother park that some people don't even know exists. To get to the island itself, you have to take these uh, rafts over, and uh, that's the only way to actually get over. So that's why it closes at dusk, and it's really cool. So one day, one day we're doing it. It's actually closed right now. So those people you saw like coming back are actually leaving the island and being the last people on. So that's really funny that I came and just pointed out at that moment. See, it's all closed up here. And they usually do close at dusk and here is the map of the island itself like I wasn't joking when I say this is like a whole nother park that's like a lot of people don't even know and for the longest time the other side of the island wasn't open and that's like a gigantic fort like a, an actual fort and uh, I hear everything's open now so we're coming we're coming back for it looks like Splash Mountain has a 50 minute wait and Big Thunder Mountain has a 45 minute wait 45 minutes for Big Thunder is uh, really, really good. I will take 45 minutes for this any day. And plus, it's not that bad. Like, if you're right here, then it's definitely not 45 minutes. I've definitely been in a much longer line. 25 minutes tops. 25 minutes. This is the worst place to be stuck, though. It's so hot in here. Like, just in this area right here, I think it's because of all the body heat. <laughs> you know what I mean? So the faster we get through this, the faster the better. And oh man, when we used to have to wear a mask, oh, it was so rough. 
Is this here is the wildest ride in the wilderness? Oh, here comes our train cars. Looks like we're getting I'm fearless. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is one of my favorite rides. <laughs> I remember the first time I rode it, every time I thought it was gonna end, like I thought it was over, it just kept going and it's just so, it's it's full of excitement and uh, kind of like twist in every single turn. And I know that's kind of like a generic thing to say, but that's how I felt when I first rode it. And uh, still one of my favorite rides of all time. Let me know if you guys know what I was talking about when I referenced Black Diamond at Knobles. That right there is the best ride you will find for $3.50. I love Knobles, I miss it a lot, but let me know in the comments if you guys have ever rode Black Diamond before. Splash Mountain seems like it's just only getting busier. I was thinking about it, but not at the weight, not at the cost, not at the cost of the weight. It says the wait time is 60 minutes, but whatever that wait time is that says on the standby sign is going to be much longer because this right here is the line for the lightning lane. So that whatever wait, if it says 60 minutes, you're looking at a 90 minute wait probably. If the lightning lane is stretched out this far, they're going to take priority basically over everything. If we can't ride it, at least we can watch some people taking that plunge. That's the best thing. The uh, viewing area for Splash Mountain always has no weight. I was also wondering maybe if they had anything new at Golden Oak Outpost, which is a kind of like a little quick service location that's in the back of Adventureland and Frontierland, but it's closed and it's kind of strange for anything to be closing early at Magic Kingdom. This one always closes early, but you would think it's Magic Kingdom. Like it's not like they have a slow period of time because it's always constantly busy. So I don't know why they would have to close something. It could have be for multiple different reasons, but it's just kind of, it's still kind of strange to me you know also you have Tortiga Tavern right here and this is another uh, like food area that is frequently closed and like I said I just don't understand at any point in time I feel like anytime I get anything to eat at any restaurant at any point in the day here at Magic Kingdom it's always very crowded and busy so like the more the better 
while we were over here in Adventureland, I checked the wait time for Pirates of the Caribbean. That's a 35 minute wait. And that's not bad either. Like I said before, when I saw Seven Doors Mine Train only having a 95 minute wait, that said a lot for the other wait times. And so far, kind of true to it. You know what I mean? While I was riding Big Thunder Mountain, I saw one of the new Coke bottles actually. Uh, it looks like it fell off the ride. And I said, this Coke's for you. And I kind of think I want to get a Coke. I'm not a big soda drinker, but I kind of like fancy bottles. Like I love the ones that are in Galaxy's Edge and the new ones. So at least I could say I tried it once. And you know, anybody else think like things like taste different in different bottles? Like uh, if you mix it up between like glass and a can and a bottle, even the shape of a bottle, I guess it's the way you kind of get the soda. It, it sometimes does taste different. So maybe we'll see if this one's different. There it is kind of looks like a glass bottle but it's plastic and it's for the 50th anniversary and it's five dollars five dollars for coca-cola maybe drinking it because you know it's five dollars taste makes it taste different i don't know this coke's for you Now I'm gonna take this Coke bottle home and I'm gonna keep it for no reason. I don't know why I do this. <laughs> Enough with the Coke business though. Now I want to go get something to eat, a little dinner. Uh, I wanted to get like a special dinner yesterday after the race, but I ended up just going home sleeping. I literally did, that's what I did. I edited my video and then I went to bed and I didn't wake up until late today. And uh, I wanted to try to get Ohana because I love eating at Ohana, but reservations are hard to come by. So I think we're gonna go over to Polynesian and even if I can't get into Ohana, I just wanna get the noodles. Get the noodles, uh, the noodles from Tamboo Lounge, and maybe some pot stickers, and I'm good. And I'm good with that. We're gonna make our way right down Main Street and right on over to the Poly. I really hope we can make it to the Poly before the sunset because it's gonna be beautiful tonight. And we have made it to the Polynesian. Look at it. Doesn't it look so beautiful? And we uh, made it before the sun officially set. The sun is setting over there. You can see where a little bit of a pink sky. It's kind of how I like it. And uh, yeah, it, it's gonna be beautiful. Maybe we'll go down to the beach or out to the uh, grotto. I don't know. The possibilities are endless. I do need to get something to eat though. That was the reason for coming over here. But I told my friends I was coming over here and they're gonna meet me and we're gonna maybe try to get into Trader Sam's, <laughs> depending on the weight for that. Look at this. I wanted to come right down to the beach just so I can take in what sunlight we have. And it is so nice out, isn't it? Holy mo, I love coming to the Poly just for this reason alone. Listen to some music, walk on the sand. Now I'm gonna have sandy shoes though. The morning sunrise. My friends actually got to the Polynesian before me and they put our name in at Trader Sam's and it's already time to go in. I didn't even get anything to eat yet. And I really wanted to get those Ohana noodles. So maybe we'll get something there or maybe we'll get them and then bring them to Trader Sam's because I think I can do that as well. This is really fancy, just showing up to the Poly and being able to go into Trader Sam's. Yeah, yeah that's us. <laughs> yes, welcome. There we go. We're 21, but I'm not sure. What do they look like? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're 21. Yes. <laughs> You're a baby hippo calling out to its mom. Hey, mom! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's a hey mom joke. I like those glasses too. Yeah, fancy. <laughs> I think since we're at Trader Sam's, maybe we'll start with an Oa and hopefully we don't anger anybody. The uh, Oa is a drink that you can actually share and uh, we have some friends to share it with and they have a little safety blanket here too. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Got an uh oh, uh, too. We're setting the trends here. Uh oh, uh -oh woo! <laughs> Sean ended up getting some tacos from the bar. Give me a taco review. Oh, you gave everyone your jalapenos? Did they like the jalapenos? Yeah? But how's the tacos? They're good. There's a lot of pork in here, though. There's a lot of pork in those tacos. They're loaded. They're loaded pork tacos. Oh. Is it okay to eat it this way? Or Why did you eat your taco that way? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> really? Who eats tacos in the middle? Who does that? Is this not how you do it? That's not how you eat a taco. <laughs> Should I do the whole dramatic? Yep. Let me just knock off the cinnamon. That's the way. Alright, Sean, now eat the cinnamon. Yep. Oh. <laughs> now that we got our Trader Sam's fix, I think it's time for the noodles. Time for some Ohana noodles and maybe a Lapu Lapu. Maybe. <laughs> A lot of people don't know this, but if you love Ohana and you can't get a reservation, you can get uh, most of the food here. You can get the noodles, you can get the pot stickers, even the bread pudding right at the Tambu Lounge. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Just in time for an enchantment, too. And Sean got a back scratcher. <laughs> Thanks, Cheers. Oh, let's do it right now. Uh oh. Oh, you're bigger than oh. First time vloggers here. You need that mm. pop socket. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> if you believe. <laughs> oh wait, were you filming that? <laughs> here comes the magic. Oh, look at that. Oh, I am so happy right now. Wow. This is what I'm talking about. For half for more than less than half the price of Ohana. This is like a, a quarter of the price of Ohana right here. Yes, sir. <laughs> and they're huge portions too. Look at this. Oh man, I love I love the pot stickers, the dumplings. Look at this. That's how good. That's how good. Mm-hmm. Soy sauce. So good. And look at the noodles. Oh. They give you so much. This is a huge portion. And for only $12. I could eat noodles for days. Oh, that's not a proper spin. You gotta get a good spin. That's a good spin. That's a good spin, brother. Francisco knows the way. This is my favorite part of uh, Enchantment right here. And you can see the fireworks from here. I killed my pot stickers, but for some reason, I can't, I can't finish the noodles. I, I'm, I'm throwing in the towel. Throwing in the napkin on the towel. That was exactly what I needed. So good. Definitely worth the trip over to the Poly. I lied. I said I was stuffed, but I just remembered I was really in the mood for a dough whip. I kind of feel like I'm going a little vanilla pineapple twist today. You know, not a float, just the dough whip itself. And they do have lime, but I'm not the biggest fan of lime dough whip. They gave me so much, holy moly. I actually took the top off there because I was afraid it was gonna tumble, but we're gonna take it inside. Look at that, precious beauty. <laughs> it's the leaning tower of cheese. <laughs> but oh man, oh look at it, it's hollow on the inside. That's too good though, much too good. Look at it, it really is hollow. Look at a little holy, you could put the pineapple juice in there. Perfect. Oh yeah, it's fancy. Oh, thank you. Are you vlogging? That's the way. Yeah, vlogging the vlog. Oh, cool. Hi, vlog. Hi. <laughs> nice.
Now I think it's time we actually head home though. I feel like we did the Polynesian good. Some Trader Sam's, some, some noodles, some pot stickers, all the good stuff here. And with that, I think we are done here today. What a fun, fabulous day. Magic Kingdom, some special treats, closing it out here at the Polynesian. We ended up going to Trader Sam's, had a little Ohana noodles and a Dole Whip. Like, could you ask for a better Disney day right there? Unbelievable. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.